Hey, what's up guys? It's Happy Cosmog here. And today we're going to be playing some PTCGO online. Um, so really happy to be um, back online, um, playing some PTCGO. And uh, very happy to be able to show you that since we've last streamed, um, it's been, we've had great luck with the challenges that have come up that really suited the decks we're playing. And we've leveled up to level 13 now. And as you can see, the daily challenge that we're on at the moment this dangerous spores um, do 750 damage to opposing Pokemon with your leaf Pokemon is almost complete. So um, I'm going to be looking to try and complete this challenge today. Um, but before we head into that, um, I am going to do some redemption on um, some of the rewards that I've purchased from the store um, with my tokens. So these are all ones that I've earned. Um, by playing on the game and not ones that I've redeemed from codes. So we're just going to go ahead and have a look here in the collection. And um, I did mainly redeem Guardians Rising packs, um, primarily because I'm hoping to get a second Tapu Lele, um, as I only have one copy of that in the online game at the moment. Um, we did get a Dark Explorers pack um, as part of the sort of ladder um, promotions. So I'm going to go ahead and open that one first. Never seen these cards myself be opened um, online or in, in real life. As you can see, most of them being brand new. OK, and a Corfag Corfagrigus. Um, Interesting. So 100 hit point Pokemon um, with a 40 times ability um, and lock up. So um, never tried that one before. Uh, let me know if you guys are aware of um, that Pokemon and any of its um, playability. I can also see we've got the evolution here. It looks like it evolves from Yamask um, there into Covagrius. So let me know, guys, in the comments if you're familiar with some of those and whether they're playable or not. Okay, so just going to go ahead and open up this Sun and Moon booster pack. This is a base set. Um, again, I think this is just a one-off that we got through the ladder promotions um, whilst earning points by winning games in the versus section. And then Incineroar. Okay, that's decent because I don't actually have the fire deck um, from... I uh, can't remember exactly what it's called. Is it um, the Incineroar deck? Um, I don't have that one, so great to be able to get the Incineroar card. I'm um, just going to go ahead and leave Guardians Rising till last because we've got, I think, 19 of those. Um, I'm going to go ahead. We've got four uncommon chests. Um, so I'm not sure if, how much these vary, and um, they may just be pretty standard. Um, so we've got a copy of Noctowl there and 10 um, token coins. Okay. Nice. So a copy of Kingdra, um, a reverse hollow, along with the coins that we received there. Nice. A uh, max potion. Um, seems to be a holographic card version. And uh, that's great. And along with our five tokens, oh, we have a vile plume, reverse hollow. So overall, quite like what they've started doing with those um, chests. I think they used to just open up straight away, but now you get to um, sort of click on the card and then wait and see what it is. Um, I like those things, you know, nice additions to the way that we're opening them and um, just makes it a little bit more fun. Okay, fantastic. And <laughs> how fitting it is that we got that pack with that card in it. Um, don't want to give too much of a spoiler, but this Volcanion EX, um, as you'll know, is the secret rare. And um, yeah, we we have pulled this, and that will be um, shown 
pretty soon uh, one of the videos on the channel uh, i won't let you know which video it is um it will be a bit surprise um but yeah seeing that card again brings that memory right back uh wonderful card textured full art uh, secret rare Volcanion. So that's great and really glad to have it available in the online game now as well. Um, so that's nice. So off to Guardians Rising, we do have 19 boosters that I've unlocked with my tokens. Um, I let it build up to around about just over 3,000 tokens and then I redeemed those um, just before the video. Okay, so we have a Waylord and a Talonflame. And our rare for this pack, wow, that is absolutely fantastic. I don't think I've ever had one of these uh, secret rares from the Sun and Moon sets in the online play, so that's great. Um, yeah, getting a new card, which I haven't got before, and then the Field Blower secret rare, that's, that's absolutely awesome. Okay, and we get Garbador there. So far, pretty happy with the packs that we've received. Normally, I don't get many hits on online um, packs. Okay, um, so we do get another card that we haven't had before, a reverse of a Sableye and an Oricorio. And a Gothitelle regular rare for that pack. If we go straight into the next one, And a Mudsdale, which is a regular, no, a hollow rare Mudsdale. Okay, so reverse rare this time for the Oricorio. And a Metagross GX. Very nice. So our second ultra rare from the Guardians Rising packs that we've opened online here. So some great additions to the cards I can play with. And a Como O GX. So back-to-back -back GXs. Um, really nice. And I, I really prefer the artwork on this one to the promo card. And uh, that's the Guardians Rising. Como O. Okay, so reverse rare Machamp. Doing well with reverse rares and a Turtonator rare as well. Not a bad card. Okay, we've got a reverse of a Barboach and Mimikyu Hollow. Not bad at all. That can make its way into one of the Psychic decks. Um, as mentioned on one of my other streams, I did really like what Pokemon did. Encouraging us to build new decks over Halloween period, they have the challenges for Darkness and Psychic decks. Wow, and a Toxapex GX. So really great. I've never opened an opening like this with online packs before. Um, a Toxapex GX. Um, so that's that's absolutely fantastic. I'm already getting um, three GXs um, in this opening. So an Absol rare, doing very well on the rares as well. Oh my goodness, what is happening? We are pulling all of the secret rares in one showing uh, on this online opening. We've had a secret rare field blower. We now have a secret rare grass energy. That is just, I mean, my goodness. <laughs> Okay, and a Gothitelle for regular. Uh, 
and a Rayquaza, regular rare. And I believe this is the last pack, I think. And a Salazzle, and a Reverse Salazzle. Okay, looks like we do have some more packs. A nice, a reverse Garbodor and a Machamp Hollow. A Salazzle Rare. And this one looks to be the last pack now. Sharpedo, reverse, and a Trevenant. So whilst it's not a GX, definitely a playable one. So that's great. Okay, so we'll just have a quick recap here. We'll go over to the um, collection and we'll just have a look here. So if we just filter for new. And then it will show us all the ones that are new today, which is great. So we'll just have a look here. So getting quite a good selection of ones that we've never had before. Um, getting the Volcanion EX. Secret Rare. Let's have a look. And um, the other GXs that we got, um, we have had before. Um, but getting that Secret Rare Energy. Um, so if I just filter here for new in the energy, getting that secret rare leaf energy, stunning that one is, and that can make its way into my Decidueye Serena deck, which I've been playing quite frequently at the moment. So that will make a really nice addition to that deck. So really glad I got that one. Um, and then also the um, Field Blower, which also is a secret rare. So overall, really couldn't be more happy with the pack opening, especially Guardians Rising, 19 packs, two Secret Rares, and um, three GXs, and also an EX uh, from the Steam Siege pack. Um, so what I'm going to do is go ahead here and try and complete the remainder of this um, Leaf Energy Challenge. Uh, so we've got a uh, 1 XP increase when we just complete a little bit more damage. So I'm going to use my Serena Decidui deck that I've been using at the moment. Um, I would like to um, add in the additions. I won't um, bore you guys with me adding in the um, Secret Rare Leaf Energy and things like that now. Um, but we'll go ahead and get into a game. So here's the Serena deck. So this is a um, standard format, um, but I believe this deck um, can work in expanded, or it may just need a couple of changes um, to work in expanded format as well. OK, so it looks like we do have the advantage. Let's hope we um, can make this a good matchup. Okay, so it looks like we do get a mulligan um, first off here. So we'll wait for our opponent to set up. Okay, so not the best hand, but definitely um, looks a little bit better. Um, ideally, our best draw for the first hand um, for this current setup that I'm playing, um, I have included 
the Alolan Vulpix um, from Guardians Rising for copies of that um, because of the um, beacon ability. Um, so normally I would hope to draw either one of those, or if not, to draw a Tapu Lele and then hold off putting that on the bench until turn two so that I can use its um, Wonder Tag ability to draw a supporter. Okay, so just going to go ahead and attach a single leaf energy here. Um, we may as well put the choice band if it looks like we're going to be primarily attacking our opponent is using a Ordino EX. Just wondering, um, just thinking about whether we should try and attack the God Lord, but I'm not sure. Uh, might be an idea to try and get an early attack in on the Guzzlord. So, haven't really faced off against Guzzlord before. Um, so, just having a look at the attack here. Eat sloppily, discard the top five cards of your deck. If any of those cards are energy cards, attach them to this Pokemon. Okay, so depending on how much energy um, my opponent is playing, um, it could possibly um, set up quite quickly. And it does look like, oh my goodness, this is going to be a um, possibly a very quick matchup. Let's let's see how this goes. Um, yeah, that's pretty crazy. Um, what's the damage delivery on this? Um, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, yeah, so opponent can one hit us, um, which is kind of crazy. Um, so I think, yeah, the pretty much a bad draw there, and they have drawn enough energy to start them off, able to one hit. Chaos. Okay, so fortunately the damage that we did do allowed us to complete the daily challenge, um, which is going to level us up as well, so that's great. And uh, we get a nice leaf deck box um, there for our, we can use that for the Serena Decidui deck that we've been using, um, which is primarily a leaf setup, um, just using Tapu Koko in that deck to spread damage. But apart from that, um, primarily a leaf setup. Okay, so go, go, gonna go ahead and play one other game today. Um, I'm going to play that game with a fun deck that I set up. Um, I'm not sure about this deck, but it's a bit of fun. I set it up yesterday, and it's um, it's basically a deck that just plays um, Tapu Koko. So I think we've got four copies of Tapu Koko GX, and then we've got two copies of Taku, Tapu Koko Promo, um, a bunch of Lightning Energy and Double Colorless, and then a number of support cards to help us draw and to help us draw basic Pokemon and get those Tapu Koko essentially loaded up on our bench. Um, I'm a big fan of Tapu Koko, um, so really just wanted to you know give it a go and um, just kind of really give it a go to see how it would do against um, a number of different matchups and have a lot of fun with that as well. I just conceded that match because. Um, I noticed that I actually, unfortunately, started up with the wrong deck. Um, it was the deck that I called Lightning, um, and I've, 
I did forget about that because yesterday there was a um, challenge that I was completing, which comprised of finishing off your opponents with um, lightning energy or electric Pokemon. So I did set this up initially just to have some fun while doing that, but um, definitely wanted to play this deck again. Obviously down to the lack of Pokemon in the deck, uh, though it does start off with a couple of mulligans quite often. Um, I think so I'm only playing six Pokemon in the whole deck, which is pretty crazy. And this time my opponent getting a mulligan. So it's quite funny. So ideally, we would have been able to draw the Tapu Koko promo. But of course, only playing two copies, it's going to be hard to do that. Um, just because we would have been able to start off on turn two with a double colorless energy, allowing us to use the flying flip. But that's not a big deal, um, not to worry. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and use the Ether Paradise Conservation Area, which basically um, means that 30 less damage is applied to the Grass and Electric Pokemon. I'm going to go ahead and attach a Choice Bend, and also just attach a Double Colors Energy. Um, don't, yeah, we won't be able to attack here um, just yet. Um, it's good to be to get a nest ball, so I will be able to attach an alternative um, to the bench on the next turn. Um, what I am going to probably do is put down a Tapu Koko promo. So our opposing, opponent using a Lowland Diglett, um, which I've never really played in many matchups, and that seems to be a Steel Pokemon. Our opponent playing a nice um, full art copy of uh, Misty's Determination there. Um, I have yet to get that card for myself in the, um, you know, in the real trading card. Okay, so finally going to be able to kick off with an attack on this move here. Um, definitely be able to take out that Alolan Diglett. Um, and then obviously our opponent uh, has a Solgaleo uh, with one energy attached at the moment. So um, let's see how this goes. Okay, so um, just going to off against this Solgaleo here. Okay. 
they use Soul Burst GX. Um, I believe that might be some kind of. I'm not actually familiar with what that is. I um, haven't played Soul Galio myself, so see what that is. Um, so that says um, search deck for up to five energy cards and attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like. Then shuffle your deck. Okay. So definitely a good draw support um, ability for Soul Galio there. Hmm, so I'm just thinking um, if I attach another um, energy card here and then um, I'm just thinking if I could use um, Guzma to bring this um, Trubbish out um, and then obviously play this um, Tapu Koko, it will automatically attach the energy to the new Tapu Koko and then I can attack with that one. Um, let me just play... Uh, yeah, I think I am going to go ahead and do that. I was going to play the Lily, um, but I can play the Lily next turn. Um, I'm not, you know, sort of needing um, resources too much right now, um, or lacking resources, should I say. So I um, can go ahead and just attach to this Tapu Koko. Um... Okay, so 130 damage is going to be more than um, suffice, so we don't need to use our Tapu Thunder GX. I'm just going to go ahead and... Yeah, so we do draw nicely as well. We draw a double colorless, which we can attach um, to our Tapu Coco promo. Um, not that we necessarily need to right now. Our opponent is playing a pretty thin line and doesn't have a number of Pokemon on the bench. Wow, okay, so um, our Tapu Koko there does get pretty devastated. Um, okay, so I think just for now, um, this might be a bit of a kamikaze move, um, but just going to go ahead and play that Tapu Koko promo, um, just because we will be able to attack on our next turn. I'm just going to go ahead and draw with Lily here. Okay, so that's actually cool. We do pick up a choice band, which means we'll be able to deliver a slightly better hit. Um, so obviously just unfortunate that our opponent was able to get that hit on our um, Tapu Coco there, but just going to go ahead and I think if we load up um, some lightning energy onto our um, regular Tapu Koko now, because um, then we can always use the free retreat ability, um, you know, saying that um, that's if we're not KO'd by then. A um, little bit of an unfortunate position, but not impossible for us to win from here.
Okay, so our opponent put in forward another copy of Cosmog here. So it looks like they'll be trying to accelerate some energy onto this Solgaleo. And also, yeah. Yeah, so that's unfortunate there. Um, although glad we do have the other resources still there, but obviously that takes us down, or our opponent down to two prize cards. Just contemplating whether or not, yeah, no, I, I was just contemplating whether or not I should use Guzma and take out that um, Cosmog. Um, I'm not sure if that's a good idea. I think what I will do is N. <clears throat> And then um, we'll just promote this other Tapu Koko to the bench. Um, no benefit in field blower there, so let's just go ahead and flying flip. So as I was saying, obviously this deck, a little bit of a fun deck, not necessarily um, going to be good um, long term competitively. Um, but definitely um, a good bit of fun and using uh, a full line of Tapu Koko GX and Tapu Koko promo. So I'm not in a hurry necessarily to put that other Tapu Koko forward. I can use this one to spread damage. Um, and then as soon as they promote something else, I will try and attack with the um, other Tapu Koko to score the knockout. Okay, that is pretty cool. Um, we managed to grab ourselves a copy of Tapu Lele there. Um, so that's pretty cool. And we can use that for additional um, draw support or support a guard. Um, I think what I will do is um, get a Guzma and use this Guzma um, to bring out their... I could use their Guzma to bring out Tapu Fini, actually, um, as... Tapu Fini is probably more of a threat at the moment, possibly. And um, we'll see. Uh, yeah, I think I am going to do that. And then go ahead and use our uh, Tapu Coco. Um, just double checking. Um, yeah, Tapu Fini doesn't have any weakness there. Um, so. Yeah, and as I thought, they go ahead and concede. So um, I think they they knew that that something was going to happen there. That they were going to we were going to take that one down. Um, okay, again. So um, yeah, this is I'm going to wrap up the video just now. Um, again, some great pulls um, from those packs. Um, leveling up to level 14, which is great, um, and then playing a couple of quick games there. Um, so again, this has been um, Happy Cosmog um, bringing you some Pokemon TCGO action. Um, please do, if you're not already, subscribe to the channel. Um, give the videos a thumbs up if you like them. If not, a thumbs down. Um, make sure you subscribe and check out the links to the Facebook, Twitter, and eBay pages below for the channel. Thank you for watching, and I'm sure I'll see you again soon.